Today, I'd like to delve into the recent activity surrounding meme stocks such as AMC and GameStop, particularly focusing on their performance in after-hours trading. Notably, GameStop experienced a significant surge throughout the day, and intriguingly, someone invested nearly $200,000 in GameStop call options. As I've emphasized previously, it often seems like someone out there has advanced knowledge. Therefore, the crucial question arises, is the squeeze beginning? Hey, welcome to AMC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remembered this is not a financial advice video. GameStop witnessed a 13.2% increase during regular trading hours, with an additional 8% surge in after-hours trading. This double-digit rise, both during the day and after hours, is a rarity for either GameStop or AMC in recent times. Before delving into the potential reasons behind this surge, let's explore various factors such as the total return swap, ETFs, the situation in China, and other potential catalysts. According to a Yahoo article, Round Hill is closing its mean ETF due to diminishing investor interest. However, Boss Blunts uncovered a more sinister aspect, claiming that the Round Hill mean ETF was primarily used by hedge funds and institutions to short stocks and manipulate markets. In a previous video, I discussed how these institutions were shorting AMC ETFs, including single stock ETFs containing AMC to short the stock indirectly without disclosing short interest or FTDs failure to deliver. Boss Blunt elaborated on how institutions added non-meme stocks like PacWest Bank, First Republic, and Silicon Valley Bank to the ETF, causing a drawdown effect on the entire ETF and the stocks held within it. This manipulation, as Boss Blunt detailed on his YouTube channel, occurred in real time with failing banks being intentionally added to the ETF to drive down its price. Consequently, this allowed more hedge funds and institutions to short the ETF, thereby pushing down not only the ETF's price, but also affecting the stocks inside it, including AMC and GameStop. The revelation doesn't stop there. Samuel Clemens exposed that shares inside these ETFs were lent out for additional shorting. For instance, Within the meme ETF, approximately 95% of the AMC shares were lent out. Even seemingly insignificant ETFs holding a smaller number of AMC shares turned out to be significant when Samuel Clemens highlighted that out of the six BlackRock ETFs holding AMC, most had over 99% of the shares lent out. BlackRock, the second largest shareholder in AMC after Vanguard, was not only shorting the ETS, but also lending out the shares within, intensifying the downward pressure on these meme stocks. As the meme ETF faces closure, institutions and hedge funds aim to cover their tracks, especially considering the high historical days to cover. Plans Not Pills pointed out a possible connection between the ETF closure and the $1 trillion swap due on the same day. This interconnection raises questions about whether these events have influenced the surge in stocks like GameStop and AMC. In an unexpected turn of events, Short Destroyer, who previously criticized AMC and claimed that it stole the squeeze from GameStop, issued a tweet calling for unity among retail investors. He emphasized the importance of ending divisiveness within the community suggesting that the collective strength of AMC and GameStop investors is crucial in the ongoing battle against Wall Street. Simultaneously, a substantial investment of $193,000 in GameStop call options just 30 minutes before the market close adds another layer of intrigue to the situation. This move, already yielding an 8% gain in after-hours trading, aligns with the recurring theme that someone out there always seems to have advanced knowledge. The crazy lady trader expressed excitement for AMC's future, aligning with the belief that a significant move might be imminent. However, the question remains, does this recent activity signify the beginning of the squeeze? The uncertainty is palpable, 
and the cautionary stance is underscored by the reminder that waiting for confirmation is a fundamental principle in successful trading. In the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group, the emphasis is always on waiting for confirmation before making substantial trading decisions. Whether it's acquiring more shares or engaging in options trading, the principle remains the same. Patience until confirmation is key. This approach is advocated to avoid falling into the trap set by shorts who might exploit impulsive options trading to manipulate stock prices and siphon money from retail investors. In conclusion, the recent events surrounding meme stocks, ETF manipulations, and calls for unity among retail investors paint a complex picture. While there are signs that the squeeze might be starting, the call for caution and the importance of waiting for confirmation cannot be overstated. As the market continues to evolve, staying informed and adopting a patient approach will be crucial for retail investors navigating the unpredictable landscape of meme stocks. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about AMC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.